Hey y'all, Noons here from Banana Hobby and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. So in our trilogy of chargers, we got our Toolkit RC M6 Delta DC charger. This charger right here is capable of delivering a total of 500 watts. It's capable of two channels at 250 watts or one times 500 watts in its synchronous mode. Has a vibrant color screen and has multiple features. So let's get this thing unboxed. And welcome back everybody. Here we go, as we promised, the Toolkit RC M6D, Mic 6 Delta. Now this charger right here, this is a DC to DC charger, so there is no AC onboard power supply. You'll need a power supply to supply your DC power or run it off your car battery, just like I'm going to use, which is great because it's versatile. You can use it at home and on the field. So let's go ahead and open it up. We have our follow us, our social media sticker, our charger. What else do we have in here? We have our USB to USB cable in case we need to update the unit. We have our screen protector. I think that's pretty cool that the Toolkit RC provides that with all their chargers. And we got our little quick manual. Let's get rid of that. And let's take a look at this charger. What do you think, everybody? Nice and sleek, like the design. It is a DC to DC charger, so let's go ahead and go over the features right on the screen. We have a color screen right here. We have our toggle wheel. This is to go left, this is to go right. This is to select what we want and to get into the menu, you're gonna go ahead and push and do a long push this right here is to select from channel a to channel b as you can see b ports for channel a and channel b usb 60 if you're going to be charging stuff that has an ec5 or so forth you just get an adapter for that temperature probe right here in the middle we have our high cooling fan and xt60 input for our dc power and our USB source right here. This can be used to upgrade the unit and to charge a cell phone at the same time, y'all. What do you think? Nice and compact. You also got the screen protector for it. You could go ahead and throw this in your toolkit and just use this for a field charger, use this at home. This is a 500 watt DC charger, so you get 250 watts charging capability on channel A and 250 watts on channel B. You can also run this in our A mode right up here and you can get a full charging capacity of 500 watts which is just insane i don't see any reason to use it but you got it one thing these chargers right here they also do your dgi batteries and one other thing that i just found out this will also do your spectrum smart batteries as well if you have some of those and you're looking for a charger with a little bit more kick for an affordable price right here so what do you say, everybody? Let's get this thing powered on and check it out. Okay, we got our M6 Delta right over here on the workbench. Let's go ahead and power on. I'm going to power on off of a 6S battery. The input voltage is 7 volts to 28 volts, 30 amps max. And let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's take a look at this thing. There. All right. Here's our voltage, 23 volts. That's from our 6S battery. It's at a storage voltage right now. This is our amperage that we're being used. We're not using anything, so it's at zero amps, our watt hours. This is the current temperature, and this is our fan speed. This is channel A, this is channel B, voltage, amperage, and the volts per cell. To switch from either or, you just hit this channel, and that's it. It's also our exit button. This right here goes to standby and right there has no function. Now to long press, we're just going to push and hold. And this is going to get into our system setup. We have our input settings, security settings, synchronous mode. This is how you'll switch it on and off to go ahead and get your 500 watts. Continuous work. This will save your settings if you're going to be consistently charging the same uh, size and voltage battery over and over. Work completed. We're just going to leave that default to end. 
balance start is always. This charger right here will balance start automatically when you plug in your balance lead. Battery selection, we're going to leave that off. Backlit, that's for our backlight for our screen, make it brighter or darker. We have our buzzer, we'll leave that default at 6. Language to English. Theme style, if you click this right here and you switch it, it turns it from light to dark. We'll leave it to light for now. And system default, serial number ID, and that's all for setup. Now to get into the menu to charge a battery, we'll do a quick press. And from here, battery type, you can select LiPo, lithium high voltage, life, lithium ion, LTO, nickel metal hydride, PB, also use it as a power supply, and UAV bat. This UAV bat is a nice little feature. It also does the GGI drones, the Mavic Airs, the Mavics, and the Phantoms and the Inspires. Cool little feature, including the Avada guys, including the Avada. Cool little feature in the charger if you do do the DJI. Like I said earlier, this will also do the Spectrum Smart Batteries. You just plug it in without the balance lead, just like your Spectrum Charger, because the balancing happens on the battery. So let's go back up here to battery type. And most commonly used is going to be lithium polymer. Cells auto. I don't like the auto function, guys. I like to actually select my cells. For the reason being, let's say I'm using a 6 cell, but I have two cells bad. Well, it's not going to tell me I have a problem or anything. It's just going to go ahead and tell me, hey, uh, you're going to be charging four cells. And I can be getting out of knowing there's a bad battery. So I always use that right there, and I change that to whatever cells I'm using. Uh, mode, charge, discharge, and storage charge. The discharge mode is internal. You can also, when you select two batteries inside of it, if one battery is lower than the other, you can move uh, voltage from one battery to the other. And voltage, default 3.85. If you want 3.80, you just select that right there. We'll just leave this at default. Your charge current and your discharge current. Another cool feature on these things, guys, you can discharge up to 3 amps, which is awesome. I leave it at the default at 2. And that's it. You can also do channel 1, channel 2, and select start. So let's go ahead and charge a battery. For this, we're going to be using a 4S and a 3S battery. We're just going to go ahead and connect the XT60 connector. We're going to take our balance lead and connect that in as well. Now to charge these batteries, we'll go ahead and do channel A. We're going to do a short press. It's a lithium polymer. It is a 4S battery. We'll go to charge. That's going to give our end voltage 4.2. Our charge current, it is a 2.2. And there we go. Let's go to channel B and do the same thing. 3S. Charge, 4.2, that is a 2.2 as well. And we'll hit start. When it's done, it'll let, give us a buzzer and let us know. Okay, everybody, I have the four cell on channel one, as you can see by the four cells. And I have a three cell right over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these batteries on storage charge. So all I'm going to do is for channel A, I'm going to do a short press. Look, lipopolymer. It is a 4S. I'm going to be doing a storage charge. 3.85. Everything looks good. I'm going to go to start. Okay. And there we go. Same thing. Channel B, 
lithium polymer. This one is a 3S. I'm going to be doing a storage charge. And start. And that's it, everybody. Very easy. And that's going to be it, y'all, for the Toolkit RC M6D DC charger. If you're interested in this charger, everybody, as usual, the link's down in the description. Thanks for joining us at Noon's Airborne RC. Noon's out.